Hey everyone, it's Nate here from Fly Plugins, and in this documentation video, we are going to be discussing how to add a new course within WP Courseware. So as you can see, we're in our WordPress admin panel dashboard here. We're just gonna go over to training courses and we will click on add course. And as you can see, we have several tabs that we need to fill in information for across the top here, with the first being general course details. And the first required field is the course title. So you can just give your course a title. We're gonna title this one Social Media for Small Business. The description, you can include anything you want here, but do keep in mind that this will be displayed on the front end for your trainees. So you can put anything you want in that field. Uh, the next required field here is when do users see the next unit on the course? Do you want all units to be visible regardless of completion progress? Or do you want them to only be able to access subsequent units after completing a unit? So either of those settings that works for your course, you can select, and then we will go ahead and move on to user access. And as you can see, the required field here is granting users access to this course. Do you want it to be automatic for all newly created users within the WordPress database? Or do you want to manually assign course access so that particular users have access to only specific courses that you choose. So then we'll go ahead and move on to user messages. And as you can see, we have several required fields in this particular tab. The first is what do you want to tell the student once they have completed a unit? You can see there's a default description in here. You have now completed this unit. Next, you can create a customized message for when a student completes an entire course. You can have a customized unit pending message. So this is displayed in a box below your course unit. Next, we have a message for access denied. So this would be presented if a user tried to access a course unit within a course for which they do not have access. Now, if a user tries to access a unit and you have required them to finish a subs uh, prior unit first and they haven't done that, uh, you can include a custom message here on the next unit to let them know that they need to complete the previous unit. That's pretty self-explanatory, uh, as well as the message not logged in required field. Uh, you can provide a customized message here if a user's uh, registered for a course, but they have not logged in before trying to access a course unit. Next, we have the message for uh, open question, open-ended question submission in blocking mode. This is what you want your students to see once they have submitted a quiz, which includes an open-ended question, and you have the quiz set to blocking mode. You can find out more about that in the quiz creation documentation video. And finally, you have the option to provide a customized message when a user submits an open-ended question in non-blocking mode. And obviously, they're going to be able to move on to the next unit. So we'll scroll back up. Our next tab is going to be email address details. And these will be the email address details for you, the instructor. So where is the email coming from that's uh, going to go to your students? for the email notifications that we'll talk about in just a moment. And what do you want the name to read when you send those emails? Additionally, you can include any email address you want when you are uh, notified as the course administrator of module and course completions, as well as uh, manual quizzes, manual uh, grading that's required for quizzes. So again, that's going to be in the grade book video. So, you can customize these, uh, these fields here as well. Let's go ahead and head over to the email notifications module. So as the instructor, do you want to be notified when a student completes a module? You can select yes or no here. You can also choose whether or not you wanna notify the student when they have completed a module. You can customize the module complete email subject in the module complete email body. Now these are the messages that are going to go out to your student. You can customize these to say whatever you want. And you can also see over on the right hand side of your screen here that we have various email tags. <clears throat> so if we wanted to, for example, uh, include a course title, 
we could copy that email template tag and paste that into the body here. Um, and we could use any of these available uh, template tags within this form. So that's a great little feature within here. Next, we have the exact same settings in the email notifications for courses. Uh, these are the same fields that you saw before in the module completion email notifications. However, these are emails that are sent out to you and the student upon completion of an entire course. And again, you can see that you can include any of the email template tags within these fields. Next, we can head over to the email notifications for quiz grades. And these are pretty important. Uh, do you want to notify your user when a quiz is graded either automatically or by the instructor? Now, if you, uh, if you choose to add open-ended or assignment upload question types to your quiz, you will be required to manually grade those so the student will receive the email after you've graded those, or you can choose not to send an email at all. And the, as an instructor, you will be notified by email when a quiz requires a manual grade. Uh, and again, you have the email subject and email body fields here, so you can let the student know of their grade for that particular quiz that they've completed. Now, one of the new features that we have added in the recent update to WP Courseware is the email notifications final summary tab here. So you can see you can send a final grade summary to your students. You have an email subject line, and then you have the ability to include a cumulative score for that course, as well as a quiz summary. So that is going to include scores for each of their quizzes within the course, which is kind of a nice, uh, nice addition to WP Courseware here. Uh, you'll see by default, there is also a link to a certificate should you choose to use those for your course. And speaking of certificates, we will head on over to that, which is our final tab. And as you can see, you can either enable or disable certificates, PDF certificates for a particular course. If you do want to include a certificate, you just select yes. And we have a separate video on certificate creation, which is a different setting down here in the sidebar in the admin panel. So that's all there is to it. You can simply save your course details. And as you can see, course details successfully created. We can return to the course summary page. And there we go. We have our social media for small business course. We have selected to require unit completion before showing the next unit. We have selected to generate certificates on course completion. And if at any time we want to change any of those settings that we went through for this particular course, we can simply click on edit course settings. And that's going to do it for this documentation video on creating a new course in WP Courseware. Thanks for watching.